Hey YouTube, would you like us to test another PSE bow? We just got another one today, so let's do that. Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel. MFJJ here with Podium Archer talking about the PSE Evo XF30E2. Yep. A lot of letters and numbers in that too. <clears throat> this came in yesterday. Probably take that tag off there so that doesn't make some funky noise. Uh, figured we'd get a video out to you as quick as we could. This bow is a mass weight of 4.3 pounds. Let's check that. <clears throat> 4.5 without an arrow rest on it. So we'll do draw lengths are 27 and a half to 31 and a half which is an awfully long draw length for this short of a bow which means this cam is really designed for a longer draw um speed is supposed to be 337 to 345 axle to axle is 29 and 5 eighths so let's check that for you mm, i'd say it's more like three quarters but it's only an eighth off yeah three quarters Brace height is six and three quarter inches. <clears throat> so it's odd to be, so that's like six and five eighths. So it's really a little shy of that number and really a little long of that number. Uh, eighth each way. Let's measure the amount of reflex in the riser. This isn't gonna be terrible by any means. It's two, and three eighths to two and a half, two and three eighths, I'd say. Uh, and the overall riser length from limb pocket to where it touches the limb, limb pocket to where it touches the limb, is 25 and three eighths for a 29 and five eighths bow. It's a reasonably long riser, but not as long as some. So let's uh, throw an arrow rest on this thing and we'll run a few arrows through it. All right, well, let's get a, an actual draw weight setting here. So give it a little... 73.4, 13-pound holding weight. Sure feels like less than that. Feels like I'm pushing the dang thing forward. I'm going to set it down. All right, so let's give it a turn. Seventy-one. We'll give it a quarter down. That should get us within a pound. Is it ten? Frick. <laughs> it just turned off again. Oh, these things time out really fast. So there we go. All right. Let's uh, take a couple shots with it. See how it feels. Not a big fan of the big old bulky grip. That would probably be the first thing to go. Oh, it's a little stiff, you know, similar to that cam and other bows I've tried. It's a hard pulling cam, but that's where the speed's coming from. It's still vibrating, still vibrating, stopped. So it's like the uh, 33 inch counterpart we tried. It, it vibrates for quite a while. It's not loud by any means. It just sits there and vibrates. A good stabilizer and a set of limb dampeners might get rid of that for you. It doesn't have any forward bump in it, but it just kind of vibrates for a while and vibrates for a while, so.
you get used to the cycle, but it does dump pretty hard in the back and it's stiff. But to find a 30 inch axle to axle bow that goes to 31 and a half too is pretty hard to do. So all in all, not terrible on the vibration. Let's see how fast it is. So this is a 70 pounds, 30 inches, 350 grain arrow on an Evo XF30 E2. Three twenty-seven. Three twenty-six. Three twenty-nine. So I'll call that 327 overall. All right. So really very fast bow for its size. Now granted, it's still more than 10 feet slow of its uh, published low end, because its high end is 345, its low end is 337. But for a six and three quarter inch brace height or six and five eighths inch brace height, 30 axle to axle bow, that's pretty snappy. Um, like I said, there is some ting. It's pretty noticeable. Like if you test fire it against uh, Another high-end bow, you'll probably notice this bow vibrating quite a bit before the other one dissipates completely, but you know, you're gonna get more vibration and noise when you increase speed. So this bow is winning a speed game as far as its overall spec, but not by a ton. Not sure if that's worth the difference between the, the felt vibration, uh, personally, because it does have a bit of vibration after the shot, and that is gonna dissipate as a little bit more noise than the next bow when you are actually shooting it out in the field and when you're hunting, so that's something to consider. Um, but all in all, it is a, it is a relatively well-built bow. Everything seems relatively square. Once again, this big bulky grip, not my uh, personal fave. I'd probably just take it off and wrap it in some black athletic tape. But all in all, it's, uh, it's pretty darn fast. So if you're a speed freak or you're looking for a short axle to axle bow and you have a really long draw length, like, you know, beyond 30 inches, it's going to be one of your only choices. So it's definitely something to consider and look at. And with this with a small wheel base is probably going to perform pretty darn good at those shorter draw lengths too if they're offering in that. So head on over to podiumarcher.com for all your archery needs. $99 and up is free shipping. Um, hit like, hit subscribe, keep coming back. Uh, comments down below of things that you want to see or what you think about this video or other videos that we're doing. Changes you'd like to see made, other things you want us to check and test. If it's feasible for us to do it, we will. Uh, head on over to the Instagram and follow along there. I'm really going to start posting some stuff here coming quick about what we're heading to do in the future and the other video things that we're working on that are beyond what we've been doing already. So hopefully you guys like what we're doing um, and keep following along and keep coming back. Appreciate your info, guys. Talk to you later.